Hi, my name is Lisa Wark. I'm the Pilates instructor at Red Ledges. This is for the Tune In and Tone Up. This is the mat series, and I hope that you'll come and join us Monday mornings at 8 o'clock once we're all allowed to socialize together again. We're going to start on the mat here, and we'll start with bridging. Just keep your hands down, keep your feet parallel, keep your shoulders down, your abs are in, and you're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Keeping your hands pressing down, drawing your tummy in, you're going to roll down, upper back, middle back, lower back, and then your tailbone relax. To make it a little bit more difficult, you're going to hold it onto the palms of your hands, roll up, stay right there, hug the circle in for five, four, three, two, one. Back, you leave your legs into tabletop or you bring your legs up to the ceiling. You do what you need to do for yourself. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders, and now pump your arms up and down. Shoulders nice and wide. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Legs all the way out. Send your right leg up to the ceiling. Point your toe. Have your heel face the midline. Good. Now you're leading with your inner thigh. Circle inside, outside. Stop at the top. That's your stretch. Circle around and stop. Circle it around and stop. And every time you stop, you want to pull your belly in, draw your navel to your spine. One. Your arms are going to go up to the ceiling. I'm just going to hold your legs for the first time. Bring your arms back by your ears. Now start to lift your head, neck, and shoulders up and reach up past your toes. Good. And then you're going to roll down, shoulders down your back, tummy, scooping your belly in, and rolling all the way down. She's going to do three more. Big inhale, exhale, reach up. Good. And then as you start to roll back, you pull your shoulders down, you're drawing your tummy in, you're hugging your thighs. Good. And on the lower down, and you'll stop right at the tips of your shoulder blades, and this leg will go to the 45. And now you're going to switch arms and legs. Good. And you can just stay looking forward towards me, drawing everything to the midline. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Bend both knees in, lower your head down. Keeping your hands on your shins, lift your head, neck, and shoulders up. You're going to send your arms forward of your ears, your legs out to the 45. Circle your arms, bend your knees in, and hug. And if that bothers your back, you send your arms straight up to the ceiling. Or keep them in tabletop. Every time you reach away, you want to imagine there's a rock on your tummy. You're pulling your abs down to the mat, imprinting your ribs on the mat. Last one. And lower your head down. Now single leg pull. Send your legs straight up to the ceiling. Drop your toes to your nose. So reach up to your calf if you can. One, two. One, two. Pulling your lower belly in. One, two. You don't want your behind to come off of the mat. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Bend your knees in. Lower your head down. So we'll do lower lift. And if you have a bad back, you make that diamond shape. You put it underneath your bottom. That will protect your back. You'll send your legs straight up to the ceiling. If you don't have a bad back, your hands go behind your head and lift yourself up. Whatever works for you. You lift all the way up. Stay there. You're going to lower. And you want to think lengthening your legs up. You lower, lengthen. And you can do it on the breath. You inhale to exhale. We're going right into crisscross. It's similar to bicycle, but we're really trying hard not to bring our elbow into our knee, trying to keep our elbows wide. There she goes. Good. She's turning. See how she's rotating and rolling rib to rib, extending her leg, and she's not letting her knee cross the midline. Three, three, two, two, one. One, and lower down. Bend. Feet are flexed, your arms are out, your shoulders are back and down, your palms are down. Imagine there's a desk and your hands are on a desk. Flex your feet. You take a big inhale, imagine there's a gigantic beach ball. You reach over that beach ball. You want to think of articulating your spine. You come back up, you stack your spine, you pull your shoulders down your back. Imagine I have a string on your head, you grow tall and reach over. Good. Big inhale. 
exhale. Her arms are out and she's more comfortable. Now you'll turn pinky finger, pinky toe, so reach to that direction. The back palm flips and you want to think of reaching over and coming back up. You want to think ear to knee. This exercise is called saw the back hip mark, so send them out straight, okay? Anchor your baby toe and you can have your hand like this, okay? And now your other hand can go behind your head, okay? Now looking forward, the top leg up, kick, kick to the front, kick, kick to the back. Good, your abs are in, drawing your tummy in. So your hand and put it down onto the mat so it will give her more stability. She'll reach her leg nice and long and do little baby circles. So you can choose which one works best for you. Good. And you want to activate your quad. And you want to go, when you do your circles, you want to try to get the back a little bit too. And reverse it for eight, seven, draw your tummy in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. To rotate your foot, toe in the front, heel in the back for this one. Toe and heel. Your abs are in. Toe, heel, and heel. Now you'll rotate your foot. Your heel will be up to the sky, so you'll rotate. We're going to start with six taps in the front, six taps in the back. And it's six, five, four, three, two, one. Now six taps in the back. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now four taps in the front. Four, three, two, one. Four taps in the back. Four, three, two, one, and now one, two, now back one, two, now you're gonna do six, up and over. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and lay down. Now I'm just gonna take the magic circle. If you don't have a magic circle, you can buy one on Amazon. You're going to press this foot down. Lengthen this leg up. We're going to work your hip and you're going to press up for eight, seven, six. This one's not fun. Five, four, three, two, one. Now put your leg up on top. Flex your foot and now press down from the inner thigh. Eight, seven. Every time you press, you're drawing your tummy in. Six, five, four, three, Two, one. Now, now stay right there and pulse up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you're going to circle up and around the accents on the up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, yeah. one. Now you'll send your legs out one long line so you're like a stick. All right, stay right there. You're gonna lift both legs up. Now scissor your legs like you're walking, big strides. And try to only, so to go one and two. There you go, like flutter kicking. Try not to bend your, there you go. Abs are in for six, five. Try not to roll back, two, pulling in your obliques. Four, three, two, one. Stretch your arms out nice and long. Stretch your legs out nice and long. Lift your legs up. Lift your arms up and look down and flutter kick. Little tiny movement, so you might not have as much movement or you might have smaller and that's fine. And then lower down. I want to do a few variations of swan just so that you'll be able to see and you can choose what works best for your body. So first I'm gonna do swan with your art hands one on top of the other and put glue your forehead to your hands and your head is down. Okay, her legs are together. Her feet stay down, her abs are in. She's gluing her forehead to her hands. They're not disconnected. So we're doing this exercise on the breath. Draw your tummy in. You're just not hanging out here with your belly relaxed on the mat. You inhale, you lift your hands, your head, and your heart up. So she lifts up wherever she can. And then she exhales.